Joining me right now is Portfolio Wealth Advisors President and Chief Investment Officer Lee Munson. Lee, great to see you. So what do you think about that big move in oil yesterday, oil stocks also? Are we on year three of the rally in oil stocks? I think we're going to be in year three. Uh, when you look at the cut in productions you're going to see going forward. There's not going to be much in terms of capital expenditures. This is going to make the Fed, uh, you know, some tough decisions they're going to have to make. I think you're going to see oil close to 100 bucks a barrel later this year. And I think that that just, you know, reinforces my position that, you know, what's with this tech rally? We got a 40 percent, uh, you know, out outperformance in terms of valuation. I would be selling that and I would look back to what worked last year, you know, which is industrials, materials, oil, inflation still around. Around, and I think it's going to take all year uh, and even into next year to, to make inflation come down. So I think if you're looking at an entry point, we had a little sell off earlier this year. And um, I think for the rest of the year, oil is not a, you know, it's a fine place to, to hide out for a little while. Well, I mean, I guess you could have you could have predicted this rightly. I mean, given the fact that this administration is jamming through a climate change agenda, trying to minimize fossil fuels just as the world runs on fossil fuels. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is calling these OPEC cuts, quote, a very unconstructive act at this time when it's important to try to hold down energy prices, Lee. Uh, I don't think OPEC Plus is really caring what the administration is saying at this point. They're calling it unconstructive. <laughs> unconstructive, right. Well, I think it's unconstructive to think that we're going to do this big energy transition this quickly without oil. The bottom line is we're going to be using more energy, right? And we're trying to get demand destruction that's not happening. And you're seeing, you know, China go back online. I mean, you know, months ago, when China's coming out of the, 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 the lockdowns, what did we think was going to happen to the price of oil, right? And if the Saudis and the other members of OPEC don't get the price they want, they're going to cut production until they do. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, the beatings are going to continue until morale improves. So I think that this is another anecdote piece of evidence, you know, it's a fact, that we're going to have higher input prices for the rest of the year on oil, and along with the rest of the world ramping up production. It just means that we're going to have more inflation. And so it, it, it helps somebody like me think, you know, what's the Fed going to do this year? Do you think the Fed's really going to cut? And that's this big fa fallacy of this big, you know, this big tech rally on rates are going to get cut before the end of the year. It's ridiculous. So how do you want to be positioned then, Lee? I mean, you got a market that is up in the first quarter. you got a market that is expecting a slowdown in the economy. As the Federal Reserve suggests that maybe the end is near in terms of this rate rising cycle, how are you positioned? How do you want to allocate capital? Oh, I want to do the same thing I did last year. There's a lot of success. I mean, look at large and small value. Just broadly speaking for a second, you still did, you've still done better since those November, December 2021 highs, just sticking in a lot of old economy boring stuff. And I think you want to continue doing that. Um, the places I like, broadly speaking, outside of, you know, sectors, I mean, yesterday, even the drug companies were rallying. So if you want to have a broad based exposure, I like things like, you know, large cap value, small cap value, just if you want to buy some index funds. I think you could even buy the banks here. I mean, you know, I was buying some Bank of America last week. The stock hasn't moved, but I think that it's, you know, the valuations are right. Uh, also, if you want to get a little bit something outside of a short term treasury, which I think is the only place on the yield curve I want to live right now, uh, you can take a look at mortgage rates. You buy them when they're yielding over 10 percent like they are now and you sell them when they're yielding uh, you know six percent like you saw last year so there's plenty of areas to buy some yeah. value get a little yield that's where I do last year's playbook all the way to December this year mm, Mark Tepper jump in here Lee, I'd love to get your take on the employment landscape because obviously we have the jobs numbers uh, coming out later this week um, and they've been strong month after month they keep coming in strong but there's conflicting data out there. When I look at small businesses, they've been net cutters of headcount every single month going back to October of 2022. And you hear about a, a large company cutting people and laying people off every single day in the news. So I, I'd love to hear your take on what you make of that conflicting data. You know, the business cycle, the I think a lot of people on Wall Street think we're going to avoid this time. They don't understand, you know, labor is going to be tight. 
until the moment it stops being tight. Look at what I mean, waste management CEO this weekend in the Wall Street Journal was saying that they can't hire a truck driver to move trash for 90 grand in Houston, but they can get $60,000 MBAs all day long. That's a Mitch. This is structural. Wow. I mean, think about that. So if you're an MBA coming yeah, from small school, point. I mean, you, can, you just might as well go from white to blue collar. So this is a structural issue that's been brewing pretty much my entire career for the last you know, 20 plus years. Yeah. So I think that you're going to well, see it point. continue. Yeah, great point on that. Thank you so much. Great to see you, Lee. Thank you. All right, Lee Munson joining us. We got a market that is fractionally higher, but your morning movie this morning.